is W-I-C-R. Welcome back to our third and final segment of the day. I am your host, The Rock. And um, after talking about Kobe and spending the whole, you know, seg- spending the whole hour talking about Kobe Bryant and his legacy and how the in the NBA and etc., we're gonna move on to a different. We're gonna still talk about basketball, but we're, we're gonna move on to a different topic now, and that's involving the Knicks, our New York Knicks. Now, it was from my attention, from what I heard, the, there was some news revolving around the Knicks day and. And from my attention, from what I heard was Jimmer Fredette from the Westchester Knicks, the NBA D-League affiliate team of the New York Knicks, was called up today. And I just want to say congrats to Jimmer Fredette, you know, for his hard work and determination. Now, let me just talk about Jimmer Fredette for a sec, for a few minutes here. You know, I've had the privilege the last few weeks to cover the Westchester Knicks for Iona and the Mass Comm Department along with Alex Cassano. But uh, I just want to say, you know, watching the Knicks play and watching Jimmer Fredette, he is just a phenomenal, a phenomenal shooter. You know, he's got great dribbles, can, you know, can drive through the lane, not afraid to take contact, the whole nine yards. You know, Jimmer Fredette is just, a, it's lack of a better term, just a flat-out baller. He's just a flat-out baller. You know, and could... And now with him, and I've seen, and he can play. He's he's been in the NBA before. I've seen him play in college, and he's you know, and his um, play, him playing for the Kings, you know, he he could play. Hon- honestly, he could play. He can play at the, at the NBA level. Now another now this question remains. You know, and, it, and with him being drawn up to the Knicks, it kind of makes you wonder. You know, could he, could he spark this Knicks club? Could the call up of Jimmer Fredette? spark the New York Knicks. And, you know, in my opinion, I think it can. I th- Honestly, I think they can. I think h- him and Porzingis could make a great one-two punch. And I think, you know, if they don't, and if the Knicks, you know, they don't do anything this year, maybe, who knows, maybe they can do something next year and build around those two guys that based on what happens with Carmelo Anthony. If he gets traded, you know, they take out the no trade clause in his contract, gets traded, you know, but that's a whole nother story. But I think, but I think the the, the call up of Jimmer Fredette can really spark the Knicks. Me, I don't know about for this year, but for the future, I think it can. You know, in in all the games I covered for the Westchester Knicks, he only had one. Ba- Jimmer Fredette only had one bad game, and I'll never forget it. It was against the 905 Raptors. He was four of 21 from the field. He only scored 13 points. And uh, it was it was 0 for 8 behind the line, but you know what? Every player has their bad days, so you know you can't completely worry about it. It's like a you know one of the one a great hitter. It's like um it's like Mike Trout or Bryce Harper going 0 for 4 and striking out three times. You know you're gonna have days like that, but overall I think Jimmer Fredette, he, you know he's a consistent shooter, can make the three ball, can drive to the lane, not afraid to take contact, and he's relentless. And, you know, I don't think you see that today, that very often in today's NBA. You know, players that are relentless, you know, that are not afraid to drive to the lane, are not afraid to initiate contact, you know. They're not intimidated by the opposition. You know, you know, just like referring back to with Kobe and James Harden. They're not afraid. They're, you know, they're not afraid of anything. They'll, they'll do whatever it takes to get the shot. Or to get a good clean look. But with the accusation of Jimmer Fredette, it should it should be interesting to see how the Knicks play moving forward. And with that, that concludes our segment for this week. I am your host, The Rock, and we will see you next week. <laughs>